So greetings and salutations, uh, my fellow Trekkies. Uh, this is a closer look at the Hideki class shuttle, the, which is a Cardassian ship, um, as seen mostly in, I guess, only Deep Space Nine, uh, the series Deep Space Nine. So um, this wasn't one of the ones that I thought I would get. I wasn't very... Um, the um, Cardassian ships never really blew my mind. I, I though probably this is the one that I do like the most. Um, um, and I uh, wasn't really happy with the Galo class, so I was looking at perhaps not even getting them. But then uh, when this this one came up really cheap, I mean it was like dirt cheap, uh, you know, for me. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, why not? Uh, it's a good point. Uh, to, like, you know, I was thinking, like, you know, let's get this into our collection. So, and it's a, uh, once I received it, I was thinking, mm, it's actually not a bad model at all. It's a, it's a nice, quite... Uh, sorry, it's a quite uh, nice looking ship. Um, odd looking colors, of course, uh, the almost pinkish colors and the uh, light brown, almost orangey, yellowish color. But that's what it, uh, I guess that's what they could translate it. Uh, Cardassian, after all. So, the Hideki class is a warp capable multi purpose auxiliary craft, it basically means as a shuttle used by the Cardassian Union's military during the late 24th century. And uh, it was an attack ship, a patrol ship, as well as a shuttlecraft. Uh, it's smaller than most of the Cardassian patrol cruisers, but these ships could typically carry, uh, I think, like four to five occupants. Okay. Trying to look at some other information about the Hideki class. There you go, on the side look. Um, it was uh, basically considered equivalent to the uh, Danum plus runabouts, but um, it's got heavy, heavier weaponry, uh, heavier armament, uh, so like you know it's uh, basically a very good um, attack ship. Alright, let's look at some other stuff. Um, what else? So it first appeared in the movie, in the sorry, in the movie, in the episode Profit and Loss, uh, and it was first identified in an ep episode called the Tribunal. Um, the physical model was designed by Rick Sternbach and built by David Stipes. I believe that's how you pronounce his name, David Stipes. Rick Sternbach, of course, is awesome. He's a genius, and uh, there was a slightly modified CGI version as well in the seventh episode. Uh, seven season episode rather, tacking uh, into the wind. Uh, okay. It was called a pursuit vessel, uh, especially by uh, Guldukat. So he described the this particular shuttle as that. Yeah, what else can I possibly say about this particular issue? Uh, and apparently, uh, the Star Trek Encyclopedia uh, states that the name Hideki was chosen in honor of Yukawa Hideki, uh, I believe he's Japanese, who first postulated the existence of the subatomic uh, pion. And models of the Hideki class have been released as part of the Star Trek Starship's official collection and the Star Trek uh, Attack Wing. I'm not really sure if it's a very popular model on other, uh, you know, in other makers like say perhaps uh, F Futura or, um, you know, what is it, Johnny Lightning, some of the others. So I'm not really sure if this is a Hallmark, for example. So I'm not really sure how many different models have been made of this, but yeah, definitely these two, have, and this is probably the best. So Eagle Moss, thank you. Uh, you've made uh, another good ship once again. Not too much information about the uh, Hideki class, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys. I'll come up soon with some other closer up videos and more unboxings. Thank you. Bye.